Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Friday night, which means tonight is the night. Which means tonight is marital nonsense. That's right. Tonight's the night. Tonight is Friday, and tonight is the night of marital. The nonsense. night. The night. The night. The night. The night. The night. Yes, already. What the fuck are you talking shit for? <laughs> you just keep quoting Dexter. What's wrong with quoting Dexter? There's nothing wrong with quoting Dexter. I just can tell you're doing it. I'm not doing anything. But tonight's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. And hold on, real quick. Give me one sec here. Support for Metal Nonsense is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineer tools for your family. Jules. Okay. So I've been using Manscaped for like what, a couple of weeks now? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm asking you. So far, I don't have any any rashes. I, I do need to get this a little bit groomed up, a little trimmed up. You don't like it when I shave my face. You yell at me for I it. I don't. Yeah, there's like a certain beard length that I've grown accustomed to, and you're like quarantining. So, yeah, yeah. Give me one second here. Uh, microphone. There we go. What are we new? Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, now we're in the game. I didn't really. S All right, here's the deal, guys. We were a little late tonight getting ready. Um, we were playing Mario. Yeah, Kart. I was gonna be like, we were doing like this, like really important, like adult stuff. But no, it was. I wanted to squeeze in like three circuits, and we did it. It was Mario Kart. <laughs> but we yeah, so back. But real quick, just get this out of the way because Manscaped is important, and Manscaped is the things you need to buy because not only does it trim your face and your head and your manly parts, but the long Doesn't it only shave your manly oh, they have, parts. They have products for everything. Oh. You can buy any kind of trimmer, any kind of razor. Okay. I mean, it's the third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents, which that part is actually absolutely true. I used to get like hurt myself shaving and now I don't with the uh, manscape. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you would hurt yourself? Listen, dude, like, you, I don't know. Like, did you, did you, did you pull a muscle, like, <laughs> hurt your back? Like, because you threw your butt back out, like, cleaning the grill and sneezing at the same time. Listen. So, or is it like, you know, a, like a flesh wound? It's like a flesh wound. Yeah. Yeah, okay. man. It, it, it's rough. It's like a flesh wound. You have to be gentle down there. It's coarse anyway, because, you know, <laughs> it's just a bad it's area. It's like a cactus. It's like a cactus. Coarse. It's, it's kind of like this stress ball, but bigger, <laughs> tan, and, uh, you know. And, like, there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> that worked out well. So, yeah, guys, holidays are coming up. Buy the Manscaped products. Buy the Lamo 3.0. And be sure to tell them marital nonsense sets you using the promo code MN2020. Now, that's M as in marital in as in nonsense yeah 2020 yeah yeah and next year it's going to be from the divorced 2020 <laughs> it's going to be md for maritally divorced 2021 be 2021 next year maritally divorced I don't know. is that the right word i said you messed all of that up i don't talk what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we're alive i'm good at talking <laughs> why do you podcast <laughs> Alex knows. Alex Alex Baker knows. He says it's more like a paper cut on the sack. He doesn't mean a Kroger sack. Mm. So sure. okay. Um okay. Nope. I have no follow-up questions to that. I thought I could think of one, but okay. <laughs> well, guys, thank you all for joining the show tonight. We are brought to you by Manscaped. I already said that. And we are currently on the new network, the buzz. So that's cool. A little new stuff going on here at the at the marital nonsense. So let's get right into the show, man. It's Friday. We should night. rename our show like the pre-divorced. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> one, one thing that's different tonight is we both brought our own personal beers. I've been drinking whiskey for a really long time. Wait, I can't do it. There we go. Like this. God, that's actually like harder to do than you realize for those product placements. Just so you know. Well, like, I keep my product. I keep my label off of it. Like on TV shows. Yeah. I was trying to show people what I was drinking. <laughs> this, this is fancy beer. <laughs> yeah, dude. So here's how pretentious we are. Um, <laughs> 
You know, you guys have Whole Foods. There's a store similar to Whole Foods, just as pretentious, called something else. Dorothy Lane Market. Dorothy Lane Market. So you yeah. know, it has the word market in it, like in Aladdin. It's so like you know, a, <laughs> so you know it's fucking pretentious. It's a it's a fancy Kroger. <laughs> but it's yeah, a fancy Kroger but, without like self checkouts. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's no self checkouts. Yeah. But like, I'm not really. I've been drinking whiskey nonstop for like months. Mm -hmm. And I had, and so I got beer at work last week, like dark beer. I forget what it was called. Not the top of my head. Like they gave it to you. Yeah, yeah, it was given to me. So I drank it. It was like a dark ginger beer. And I was like, I don't really like this beer, but I'm, it's free. I'll, I'll fucking drink it. Yeah. And I really liked it. It wasn't dark beer. Well, whatever. I don't know. It was ginger beer. Ginger yeah. is dark. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's not. But okay. If it's not Miller White, it's dark beer. Ginger ale <laughs> is not dark. <laughs> if it's... <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Anyway. anyway, so tonight came. I was like, I don't really feel like drinking whiskey. You were like, I need beer. So... We went to the Dorothy Lane Market to pick out like weird fancy beer to be pretentious. Yeah, mine is a passion fruit tart ale. It's very good. It's got the word guava on it. Makes me feel good. I feel like <laughs> I feel like Oprah would also reach for this beer if it was available. If she had to choose, you know, like oh, drink a beer. It's kind of like you know, it's in tea. So why wouldn't I like this? So you think Oprah would recommend that beer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much you think of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first of all, yes. Um, and second of all, it's got the word guava on it. Oh. And I find that to be an attractive consumer word. I don't even know what guava is. I don't either, but it's on things like passion fruit tart ale. <laughs> <laughs> which is by the way made like packaged i think out of recycled shit because yeah. this is a sticker i was gonna say my favorite part of that again pretentious this was probably like a pepsi can like, in a former life like this aluminum is way thinner than like it regular is. fucking cans do you remember those like budweiser dancing cans from back in the day like they're battery operated and they dance that's what this is i think or was in a past life and then they actually put beer in it and then put a sticker on it I could, I believe that. I feel like this is the kind of pop or this is the kind of beer to pop. It this was is, a pop in a former life. This too. is the it's kind had of, a lot of lives. Right. So like, let's say you're in like a high school, like weird recycling class and you yeah. like make your own pop or soda for you Southern folks. This would be like how it would come out. Like they give you a weird <laughs> label to put on. <laughs> <laughs> I made homemade sugar water. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> and this is a sticker from Redbubble. <laughs> That's what it feels like. To me. It looks like it too. Like I feel like Etsy packaged this beer, but it's really good. Yeah, I, don't I liked know. it. I tasted it. It's pretty it's, good. It tastes like my digestive system will like it. That's kind of where I'm at in life now. And like you don't have a gallbladder. That's important. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, that's where I'm at. I'm at that point in life where, um, I'm <laughs> the fact that I've lived off of nothing but McDonald's and Taco Bell for <laughs> 10 years. Cause catching up with me, it's starting to show people yeah. told me, watch out in your twenties because you'll see it in your thirties. And I was like, fuck you guys. And I'm in my early thirties and I'm down in Oregon. So it's time that's to start it. fucking, listening to your to body fucking, you hear that <laughs> time to start fucking. maybe that too but it's also definitely time to start fucking listening to your body that's so fair. i'm i am not drinking bud light i am drinking passion fruit tart ale <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. well we got some listeners here cassie thank you for watching we're not being negative this is all positive i don't know <laughs> and yvonne what's up my favorite other podcaster what's going on so the beer i'm drinking is, you know, I'm sticking with my bourbon whiskey stuff. It is a old-fashioned bourbon barrel ale. Oh, yeah. And it's really not bad. It's not bad. But you have to open it with, like, a bottle opener. Yeah, you have to use a bottle opener. We, we got all situated here. We locked the door. The hellhound is out in the hallway. And it was, like, literally time to go live. And I was like, fuck, you don't have any openers. Yeah, you like, actually told me that. <laughs> yeah, I sat down and looked around and was like, you know what? I don't have, like, hidden in here because, like, I have a stress ball. Um, I've got like a couch ball over there. We got candles. <laughs> like I have, this is where you want to be. If shit goes down, I do not have that. Yeah. I got to fix that. So I use the bookshelf <laughs> to open these beer bottles. Oh, I'm learning something. So apparently negative is as ale. Isn't a dark beer. It's, oh, I see. She's saying I was wrong. Thank uh, you. Who's on your side? See, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I don't know. I, I say words and it's like, I'm not. 
speaking. Like I before yeah. we started, no, this is totally true. Before we started filming, I walked into the bathroom and he walked into the bathroom talking to me and I stood there talking to him and then he was like, okay, well, I have to go to the bathroom. And he tried to kick me off. Like, <laughs> bitch, I walked in here first. What do you think I'm trying to do in here? I'm older. I'm not freshening up. <laughs> like, I, I paid the water bill today, so I get to use the bathroom first. <laughs> no, go the fuck downstairs. <laughs> That's how I feel about I that. was almost like... <laughs> Hands down, like I was almost squatting, and you were like, "I gotta go." Like you were looking for your bra. You said, "I have to put my bra on." <laughs> no, that's that what was you said earlier. And I don't know why you have to be in the bathroom with your bra on. No, <laughs> get out. That was earlier, <laughs> and I already got that on. Like you lose so much time doing this, and then <laughs> like on your phone, you don't even realize. I don't shock them. Yeah, you do. It's fine. Anyway, so yesterday. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Do you want to say what happened yesterday? We're already 16 minutes into this thing, and we haven't even started the show yet. <laughs> no, you can talk about what happened yesterday. So yesterday, 5 p.m. rolls around. I just got off from work. I'm just sitting home. I just got done eating or whatever, right? Yeah. You're sitting there still finishing up your work. You work from home like a loser, which we'll get to here very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, uh, and uh, so. Uh, oh yeah! Fuck! I didn't up. bring the proof upstairs. Oh, we went, we forgot everything. I know. We fucking were in a rush. fucking Mario, Mario Kart, Kart, man. So yes. But guess who won Mario Kart most of the time? I don't want to talk about that. That's not what this episode's <laughs> about. Um. However, you're right. Like getting off of work. So like I'm sitting there typing doorbell. And you go to get it, and this guy, who like I feel like he breathed a lot, like a lot. Do you remember what he was wearing? Did you see him at all? Yeah. Um. So I remember like a black leather jacket from like the '90s or well, early 2000s style. It was like a Green Bay Jackers hoodie. I thought that was the kid. Oh. Yeah. The Either way, they was... smelled like they, they smelled like weird eggs. Okay. Yeah. Know. Anyway. <laughs> so um. But yeah, so there was the, a grown up and a child, and the grown up looked like every average, right? Like lost in a crowd, basic white dude, right? Yeah, man, he was a basic white dude. He was a little bit heavy set. I mean, he was, he looked nice enough. He had a weird beard that I don't think has been washed for a while. But who, who the fuck am I to talk? If you and, go uh, to like <laughs> pre COVID, if you went to the movie theater on like you know whatever that is, Discount Tuesday. And you screamed hey, the name. We like Discount Tuesday. Yeah, and you screamed <laughs> the name Joe into the crowd. He'd answer because he'd be he'd be a Joe. Like he's just like yeah, average, average looking dude. Yeah, average Joe. And he'd be like yes, yes. How can I help you? Here are my four children and whatever. Uh, Adessa said that we should. I should have just peed in the shower. Do what? Oh, Pete in the shower. <laughs> He's done that. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we've covered that. Anyway. We've all know that. God. Um, yeah, anyway. So uh, I heard him say, now, now I I blocked it out a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I opened it up. I, I, so the, I hear the knock. I'm like, who the fuck is that? And I, I, I think it's, I thought it was Josh. As, you know, he comes over with Yvonne to do RSH on Thursdays. But like, I even texted each other yet for him to come over. So I guess he here already. So I go and open the door and it's this dude standing right in front of me, middle-aged dude, average looking, but clothes were a little dirty. And then there was like probably a 12 year old kid standing a good five feet, six feet behind him. Right. Like and, submissive, uh, yeah, man. abused children. And then uh, he was like, Hey man, I'm just trying to talk, you know, do you, do you go to the church at all? And I'm like, and he's like, be no, wait, that's how it was. Hang on. No, I remember now. So he goes, um, Hey, how, how's it going? Uh, my name is such and such, and this is my son, so and so. Uh, and we were just uh, visiting the neighborhood to talk to folks about religion and their religious beliefs. Talking shit about Joe's. We got Joe's watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> From the Working Fans podcast. <laughs> Anyways, so he's like, yeah, uh, we're just, you know, from the such and such church on the blah, blah, blah. And we're here for saving souls. And you, you were like, he said, you, are you a third thing church at all? Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. Say, say the rest of that question. Because so like, so, there are two parts. So he was just like, so we're, we won't we soon know if you're affiliated with any church. And two, we're trying to get kids for our church bus or our, our van on Sundays. He didn't even say church, but he said our van on Sundays. Yep. Like, and two, we're trying to get kids to go on our vans on Sundays. So, okay. So, from my perspective, I'm typey, 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 type. 
some fool, hey, blah, 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 uh, religious stuff, mer, and feeling, <laughs> feeling sorry for Vin having to shoo this guy off our porch because our next door, because I'm like, our next door neighbor is such a burning pile of garbage. Which, if you are a regular listener, we've already talked about them a couple of times. A lot. Oh, he's no. He's, anyway. So anyway. <laughs> that will be so like, next time. <laughs> earlier same day like i ran an errand on my lunch break and called ben and was like i heard this kid scream from the front porch and he's 14 to get we're gonna be late i gotta take a fucking shit and his dad was like you gotta go to school and it was like 11 like i did i was just like yeah, what man. the fuck is going on like first of all why aren't you already at school it's 11 second of all you're 14. Why are you screaming about having to poop? Like using that language, even as an adult, makes me fucking cringe. It's gross. Like, and yeah. then, like, if you are going to be that aggressive about your poops at that age, there's something wrong with you, and you need to go to a doctor. Like, it's not healthy at this point. He was just trying to show off. But anyway, that's our neighbors. So and I was afraid that these church people were going to like hear our neighbors, and so having had that experience on my front porch earlier that day, just walk into my car to get to the grocery store. Like just, that's what happened. So this guy's trying to save our souls at five o'clock on a Thursday yeah, man. to get his trying Jesus get, punch card full by Sunday for his van. And that's my next it. door. Name. So I'm just like, <laughs> fuck, let's do this. And you know, so typey, 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 type kids van, what is your religion? And I'm like, <laughs> no longer focus on work. Yeah, he asked me what religion was. Like, I'm not really a religious guy. Yeah, we're not religious people. And he stood there. He didn't take that as his like cue to leave. He was no. like, okay. That's it. I'm, we're, we're his. We're his bait. We don't have a church to go to now. If I was like, oh, we already go to this church, she'd been like, oh, okay. So then he goes, hey, son, and he's like going like this, and he like, and the kid like slips a couple pamphlets. In I'm his not hands. even sure it was his son. <laughs> but uh mm -mm, mm -mm. It, was you weird. Know, it was a weird vibe you know how some kids have those weird uncles or cousins or whatever um uh big brother big sister program stuff i don't know um but so he hands him the pamphlets and then they pass them over to you and mm -hmm. you were like okay thanks and the guy still didn't leave and you were like we don't have kids either. Yeah, I don't have any kids. And he was like, oh, well, okay, well, there you go. And then and goes, I, I kind of felt bad for him too. Cause at one point, I'm not sure if you heard this part or not, but when he was after, when he gave me the, the pamphlets, he was like, uh, he gave it to me. I'm like, you know, I'm not really, I kind of smirked a little bit. I kind of like, <laughs> like, I can't wait to put this in the yeah, garbage. I just kind of like smiled. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, you might not believe it, but here you go. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, I kind of felt like an asshole at that <laughs> point. I but. don't, I'll tell you why I don't, we'll get there. But anyway, um so you know you he did say that like well, you know you might not believe it but we know whatever dur, dur, and then you know we don't have kids and that's when the guy finally realizes there are no like innocent souls to save no he can dude, leave. my soul is <laughs> f <laughs> <laughs> so he left <laughs> but I looked at the card later because he also gave cards with directions to the church and on the back of the card is like the street address and then the line the address line says on such as that street behind the Chipotle. <laughs> that seriously, guys, is the best part. And I was trying to explain this to Josh last night too. Like, you know, the cards have the business have the, the, the business address. address yes. <laughs> and she just said behind the Chipotle. Behind the now, Chipotle. <laughs> what, what, you, what you just heard was you think what you're picturing in your head right now, guys, is the card with the address and under the address, maybe in parentheses behind the Chipotle. No. That's what you think you that's no. what you think we said. No. Nope. That's not what we said. No. What the card shows is the address number and then like one, two, three, four, fifth street, fifth street behind the Chipotle. Behind the Chipotle. Columbus, Ohio, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It is part of the address. <laughs> Like the the city state and zip code is under the behind Chipotle. So somebody, if you're gonna write that church a letter, you would have to put yeah, so behind the Chipotle. Somebody's like kid made those in art class to surprise their papa. They had to. There's no way that an adult thought that that should be part of the address yeah, line. It is. This was somebody's homework project in high school. Like you know what I mean? Like a business prep class or something something oh yeah like right. this didn't happen on purpose it can't have it had to be an accident <laughs> it looks like it's part of the address it yeah. is one two three four fifth street behind, behind the Chipotle, Chipotle. Like, columbus ohio blah 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 blah. Right. that's how the address that's the format yeah. yeah it was pretty rough 
what? So it was really creepy <laughs> that my Thursday, like I'm clocking out experience was, you know, trying to crank out this work before, you know, into business and then ding dong, can I save your soul? Nope. Got any kids? <laughs> got any kids? Nope. Where are your kids at? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I got, I've got a van. It if was, you've got any kids yeah, that need a ride to church, I've got a van. And when we made it clear that there were no no kids, that's when he took the cue to leave. Yeah. And, and, With his kid. Yeah. Like, and I got nothing against religion at all. I grew up in the church, whatever. But he made it creepy. Like, it was weird. I felt like it was definitely like a punch card thing because yeah. it was Thursday. There was a service on Sunday. Like, and like if I was it gonna do that, felt like, weird. If, if I was gonna do that, I would wear like dress clothes. I'd look professional. Maybe carry a Bible or something. Like this the guy, Jehovah's Witness or something. I just saw like an old school. Yeah, like one of them guys. Yeah, they know what they're doing. The Mormons. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They yeah, got, they got that shit down. This weird dude from the town over. <laughs> yeah, you know, like he's town just over. one town over, and they're that like part of the zip code where they look down on this town. I don't know. Like, it, I don't, I'm not from here. I just live here. So, and we're not part of the community either. Like, literally, I pay rent. That's what I do. Right. Here. Like, um, I, that's my favorite line <laughs> to say to her. Is, yeah. We're not part of the community. We're not part of the community. We Until we here. have kids, we are not part of Because, like, we take walks and we observe people and we're like, ew. Nothing to do with us. And he's like, no, no, we no, no. We don't do anything downtown. We don't have anything to do with the nope. school system. We don't do anything. We just live here. And we're not part of the community, but when we have kids, that will change. So we got to figure that shit out. We got to figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, that's our rule. But anyway, so I don't know. Like it's pretty wild. It's and it, it kind of goes into what we're doing on Monday. We're on the Paranormal Activities podcast. We're going to be talking about the last Reformation Christian cult. So yeah, kind of kind of fitting for this week. Yeah. So yeah, the people, the next door neighbor town, they don't like us, um, and they think that they're slumming it to come here. Yeah. I, that's like the turf war thing that I overheard. Yeah, dude. Working in the community, people, you know, talk about high school and shit. So I was like, he's slumming it. He came down here to try to save some souls. Oh yeah. Gave us their address. It's yeah. weird. You can you can still go to the Chipotle, Josh. Just don't bring your kids with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah this is this is the ghetto like like my like my hometown is st mary's the next town was salina and st mary's always thought that we were better than salina well now i'm in the salina version of that ah okay <laughs> see yeah like i don't know i don't like i grew up or well no i moved a lot i graduated high school in the like a like a, it was actually it's it's a village it's right. not even a town it's a village there were 70 kids in my class k through 12 one building one story so it's small. That's lame. It's small. Like so when six I six schools in my town, I, everybody, everybody in their turf wars and shit are just like too big for me. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody likes this. Thing. I don't know. There's only like, corn around it. Nobody cares. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's small. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to go out of my way to dislike people because of what side of 75 they live on. <laughs> That's all it is, dude. It's literally 75. It's 75. If you go, if you're, let's say you're going south on 75. If you go right, it's our town. If you go left at the exit, it's, it's, it's that, that town. It is literally. Yeah. This town, this town. It's crazy. Same fucking town. Jesus anyway, Christ. Now we're half an hour in. We haven't even gotten to our topic. I know, man. Well, all, all that Mario Kart. I know. Do you remember that one race where you fucking hit me with three red shells and a banana? Yep. What about it? There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing more satisfying than green shell hits. Yep, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've best. done that to you too. <laughs> so anyway, you start working from home. Yes, I do. And things get weird, right? A lot of you people probably know about this. I know a lot of people are starting to work from home now since COVID nineteen hit. I happened to work from home before, before COVID nineteen hit. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> me too. Post COVID, post COVID work from home is different than pre COVID work from home. It is. Real quick, I have to answer this question. Who's better at Mario Kart? Um, you can be honest. It's not that I can. <laughs> it's do I want to talk about it? So, okay. There's a two-part answer. I am better at defense. I disagree. You use your weapons way too prematurely half no. the time. No. I watch you. You. What do you always say to me all, all the time? Like, man, you can come back really far and like you're good at using your weapons. I'm good at defensive driving. On Mario Kart. You're good at offensive. You're good at using your weapons. You're not good at using your you're good at using your weapons in an offensive manner, not in a defensive Are manner. we saying the same thing? I feel like we're saying the same no, thing. No, you're good at offense. You're good at fighting your way up. You're not good at staying up. I'm good at defense where I can use my weapons to keep me in first place. You're good at weapons. Who has the ball in this scenario? 
<laughs> I'm good at using my weapons. Okay. This is where we are. Okay. Let's back it up. Let me back it up. Um, I'm good at using weapons and Ben is good at everything else. <laughs> You're good at offensively using your weapons. I'm good at defensively using my weapons. And when we play without weapons, Ben wins because he probably historically has more experience. Oh, sure. I've been Mario Kart since I was like, what? With well, all video games and formats. Well, before that. When did, when did that come out? 98? So I'm like, playing at a and... handicap, really. <laughs> is that what that is? But yeah, you play every fucking day when I'm at work. And you're, and you're on the I clock. I sent you pictures. And you're on the clock. <laughs> Not on the clock. Getting paid. Lunch breaks. <laughs> Lunch breaks are from Mario Kart. Lunch breaks. And if if you let the game pick for you, you can do a you can do a really a tight fifteen circuit. <laughs> you can do a tight fifteen. You can do a tight fifteen. <laughs> real, real close. Like don't you got to play from your office chair? I can't get hit. I can't get with the grip shell. I gotta go. I gotta use my defense. <laughs> Nick, just timing wise, you can play a whole circuit in versus if the game picks the races for you in fifteen minutes and make it to your like computer to be clocked back in on time. As long as you don't science. fuck off. Yeah, it is a science. This I think this is the shit that I do now. I figure this kind of shit you know, out. But you know what? I don't need to do any. <laughs> I don't need to do any of that. I can figure out what I can get done in 15 minutes. And it's actually an incredible it's amount of shit. Quite a bit. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing what I can get done in 15 minutes. So what else is going on when you're working from home? <laughs> Playing Mario Kart from your chair very quickly in 15 like, minutes. Scoot back. <laughs> um, I I've like kept the house really clean. I think. Um, yeah, man, the house is like one of the <coughs> not excuse deals, me. but one of the things that you said you were going to do when you started working from home was keeping the house clean and cooking more. Yep, and so, I did both of those things. So far, so far we're on track. Yep, both of those things. Like I knew that those would be the things that I would start doing. I would have the energy to do. Because when you have like a commute or when you're just always working overtime and you never know what time you're getting off work, like when you're just putting all of your energy everywhere else, you're not going to stay on top of housework, especially when you live with somebody who doesn't give a fuck about I, housework. I do laundry all the time. <laughs> you That's the only thing you care about. And you would only do your laundry. Well, yeah, I'm not doing your laundry. Or the house's laundry. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm not going to wash my own sheets. No, my wife will get to that. <laughs> I'm not going to wash the towels. My wife will do that, too. I washed. I I'm have... going to wash the blankets that are laying all over the house for us and the animals on all of the furniture because my wife will do that. Well, you're working from home. It makes sense. Now. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we, we have social media now. Uh, yeah, you guys should follow us on at Marital Nonsense on Twitter and then at also at Marital Nonsense on Facebook, even though the Facebook page is still called the Moose Point, but it's in the process of being changed. But we can post your fucking pictures of your stuff that you do now. On oh, God, media. that's creepy. I don't know if I'll go that far. It's so, I, I, I don't want to showcase my mania yet. You're, you're manic, you mean? Yeah, like it's, I'm definitely very manic and I can give up my man, my mania, but I don't think I want to showcase it yet. I'll share it with like a couple people through text, but that's about all I can do for now. Can't, it's gotten out of hand. Um, I've discovered washi tape. I'm not, see, I never knew what washi tape was. Yeah, so I lay awake at night and I think about what I want my future house to look like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I love this place is actually great. Like it's very economic and you know, it's, I love it. Um, but I, I'm very much looking forward to like being able to be in charge of the structural design of the house. So I obsessed one night over the fact that I hated all of the closet doors, hate them, fucking hate them. Yeah. Yeah. So hate them. we have like, you know, our house is white and we do rent. We don't own like and, the walls are white. So we can't paint unless we paint it back when we move. I'm not fucking doing that. So everything's white. And she now we've lived here. For, I hate white walls. We have lived here for two years now. As you can see, to like my tea. house looks like this. We moved, the, we moved here in December 2018. So we've lived here for exactly two years now. Yeah. And I had no idea that you hated the the uh, the closet doors. This until much. Until now. Yeah, I hated them. And I'm not sure you actually hate the closet doors. No, see, I, I just... think you're just sitting here at home stewing, bored. <laughs> no. What can I do next? Because I'm bored. Oh, I don't like this. I don't think even I don't even think you noticed it until nah. you're just sitting here with nothing to do. I think there is some truth to that. There is some 
truth to that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> because I have wiped everything down with white vinegar a couple of times. And I have learned by the way, the we cleaning have, properties of vinegar. <laughs> we have become very obsessed <laughs> with, with vinegar. vinegar. <laughs> I shouldn't be this interested in it. I really shouldn't. Not just vinegar. There's two kinds of vinegars that we're obsessed with. There is white vinegar and, and then there's apple, apple cider, cider vinegar. vinegar. Yeah. So like, you know, that kind of shit. I'm okay. Like, sure. And I crochet like the Dickens and Dickens. like the Dickens. Come on. And I'm, but like, I don't like them. The ones in my bedroom are broken. They can't see me. I'm looking at a closet door right now. I don't like them. They're white. They're basic. Like, I want those farmhouse doors that have the big, like, brackets that slide. And Those slide. No, you don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. Those slide. They're, they go. Not, that's not what I mean. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I don't understand. I know you don't. Um, I like those sliding doors because they're easy. I want the ones that are decorative. And so anyway, I got washi tape and made like a mural on the downstairs closet door and then our bedroom door because I had leftover tape and I still have more tape. So, so like I came home yesterday and like there's, there's a closet door that goes like there, that goes to the Harry Potter room under the stairs. Yeah. And it just has like a big thing on it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? And like, and, and to your credit, I thought it was just like a, like a laser print. You just like took it and you put it on like a vinyl sticker, but it's just like, thousands of little tape strings yeah it's just like it's just a lot of tape that i spent hours just peeling in. <laughs> just hours that is insane i used a level to draw the thing she said i get new she's like do you have a level <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was like cool <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it aren't you working <laughs> what are you doing? no not that was on a on off day oh, that's right you were I took off a, i took a floating holiday <laughs> that's right, dude that's right um, but yeah, so I did that to two different doors and I've got plans for the, this upstairs hallway closet door. Uh, I ordered some special Van Gogh washi tape. It's oh going to be stellar. Cause you're in your Van Gogh phase now. Cause we watched that weird movie last weekend. No, I have always liked Van Gogh, but they don't make any other art artist tape that I like. No. Yeah. Fair and they, I haven't seen any other artist movies that would interest me. Have you seen the paint maker? Nope. That's made it up. Oh. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> that would be why. They're trying to start a new hashtag. What's ben, the hashtag? Ben do more laundry. Oh, nice. Uh, that's <laughs> not Rangers. That's not going to save the marriage. <laughs> ben needs to do more dishes. Just, I could give dude, a fuck about him no, doing laundry. No, you are home all day You're using all the dishes. That's on you. No, it's not yeah, on it me. Is. It's not all of my dishes. All of the time. And you know it. It's mostly your dishes. And I cook dinner well, every fucking time it gets cooked. I'm not Paul Walker. We're Paul Walker comes. We're not. No. We did this the last <laughs> episode. We're not going down the road. I'm not. I cannot. Paul Walker says. We're, we're live. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about the five <laughs> people watching right now. I will get up and walk out. I'm not going to do this with you again. You can't move the thing. I can't move the thing, but I'll fucking figure out how to move the thing. You'll be trapped in here. You're trapped till it's over. I'm trapped in here, but I will act just like the cats do about it. Because <laughs> I know that's what we're fucking getting to. You've been waiting to talk shit about this all night. Ask me all about right. the goddamn cats. <laughs> so basically, since I would. Mean, You've been working from home now for a while, but the last week I think it's escalated quite a bit. It it has nonstop fucking pictures of this fucking <laughs> cat. Now I love her. She's a cute little furry fuck. She's getting a little heavy. She's a little heavy set. Now we have a buddy named Nick who has a big fat cat, and you talked massive shit about this cat when we were there last time. I told him one of the things that I told him was that his cat looked like a lasagna about to be baked. <laughs> so it didn't even back their sense, by the way. I know. Or invited back. Either. But it was really funny, and that cat is huge. Well, yeah. now our kitten, and she is still a kitten, <laughs> is growing tremendously. Not long ways, but wide ways. No, she's ways. not. She's, she's getting looks, her under fur. She looks so fat, dude. No, like, she's got under fur. She looks like a black Garfield. Also, don't you love how you keep giving the cats fucking like eating complexes because now Moomies is all worried about her weight and you mean, lost a bunch. You mean how every day when she begs me for that chicken? Yeah, she's not <laughs> worried about food. 
I got home from work today. You called today. her fat a couple years ago, home, and now look at her. I got home from work today. The first thing she does is gets that Crowley comes, the dog comes and greets me, all happy, wagging his tail. The cat sees me and gets down, goes to her food. What's up? Sits there. <laughs> That's right. I let one of my coworkers know today that every time I get kind of excited about a workday, like kind of achievement, because I'm basically just problem solving, you know? Oh, so yeah. I'll just be like, ah, figured that out. Haha, huzzah, I'm so clever. <laughs> and I'll be like patting myself on the back over how clever I am. And then I'll look over and the cat's not pleased. And I realize that she's here to keep me humble. Um, because today I I gave her water out of my hands. She literally sent me a picture yeah. of her holding a cup of water while the cat was drinking the water out of her hand, basically. Filtered water, too. Filtered. Filtered water. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and it's her special cup that there we, are I keep for her. In this town who don't have the privilege to drink filtered water. From Meanwhile, my hand, I know. <laughs> our poor asses, literally poor, are giving this cat filtered water out of our hands. Yeah. What is happening? She deserves it. She's put up with me for a decade and a half. You put that kind of time in. You get the sweet treats. I've been with you for five years. Yeah. You need them 10 treats. more. Where them treats at, bro? 10 more. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. It takes time to soften up. Unbelievable. That's what she said. Yeah. So I'm basically a glorified cat waiter. That's where we are. And then I also got a picture today, actually, this uh, of the other cat, the kitten, like walking through the fucking uh, blinds. blinds. Like we have like those blinds that go pshh. I don't know. Like normal blinds. <laughs> we have blinds. Not like, not like, but like. Not shutters. Yeah. Blinds. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like all tangled in. I'm like, what are you doing? Why, why is this cat in the blinds? What is happening? Yep. Yep. She just crawled through there, like walked through and then like turned around and looked at me. And then I, I yelled for her and I was I. I screamed kitten and I was and I did that. I was like kitten and then she crawled out and like came running at me like what? It was this whole exchange. It was very cute. I feel like you I feel like in your brain when you're home <laughs> at work, I feel like you imagine you're just a fucking like Disney princess. I am. <laughs> you've also been watching Disney movies nonstop lately. Like <laughs> since before Thanksgiving, nonstop every night. They make me feel good. I fall asleep for like 101 Dalmatians twice in the last four days. Yeah, and I ended up ordering the book off of Amazon. I'm kind of excited. I've never read it. I just recently realized it was a book. Like, oh yeah. This is this is gonna be like a whole new discovery for it me. It was written in the 50s, dog. I know. I own it. So I was just waiting for me to read it. Dude, Quill Quella Deville. Cruella. Cruella Deville. Deville is a bitch. Yeah. She wants to kill all those dogs. Yes. Uh, 101 of them. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact. And she's never like listed as like one of the most evil villains. She's like, Yeah, she is. She's now. No, is she? Yeah. She's Cruella like, and like Scar, Jafar. Well, to be fair, Scar only wanted to kill two animals. Right. Quella wants to kill 101. Fucked up. I mean, arguably, Scar wanted to kill more animals. He was carnivore. But he only wanted to kill two but in cold blood, I guess, because as a carnivore, that's not his fault. But in cold blood, he wanted to kill two. Cruella wanted to kill 101 in cold blood. Cruella. Whatever. <laughs> we all got our talk I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that I acknowledged her last name being Devil until I was an adult. See, like it doesn't it isn't it like so fun when you think about it? I'm excited to read it. It's probably gonna be very similar to the cartoon movie. I already know like two differences. There's a wet nurse and a cook. Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> Did you know that? No. <laughs> does that change things for you? No, no, it does not. <laughs> Changes no. things for me. I'm gonna read it. It's it doesn't change anything at all. Anyway. I did not like 102 Dalmatians. I thought, I thought the movie sucked. I, I don't remember watching. I mean, I'm sure he did, but I don't remember um, it too much. There's like another one. And uh, stuff happens. Does he have spots? <laughs> <laughs> Does he get his spots later? Probably. I'm is not sure there a conundrum about spots? <laughs> is, that, is that a problem in the first movie? I don't, yeah. The, yes. It's like the very beginning. I fall asleep right away. I don't, I don't know. I think Matt pulled him past the F out. Yeah. Know. 
it's comforting to fall asleep to those old Disney movies, though. And my favorite part is to watch them back to back like that because, like, you get you find out through listening to it, especially if you're like falling asleep, you've got like one person is the voice of Mad Men and Mim, and that same person who's Mad Men and Mim, Mad Men and Mim, who's Mad Men and Mim, and <laughs> Mad Madam Mim in the Sword in the Stone. Oh, okay. <laughs> And she's the same voice as the maid in 101 Dalmatians. And oh. then, yeah, like they bounce around like that. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Alice is Wendy in Peter Pan. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yes. Google it. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I didn't know that. I like Alice you can Wonderland tell when kid. you're like, especially if you, are, if you have your eyes closed, you can tell. I liked Alice in Wonderland when I was a child. Yeah. I liked the, did you ever watch the Disney show? Alice in Wonderland. Yes, it was awesome. I remember that. How they? I remember the opening, the opening trailer, or whatever. The opening credits when she'd use the mirror to go back in time. I dropped my stress ball. I have to get another one. <laughs> so we use these. Sorry. Now. If you guys watched last week, you saw a scratching a lot. Uh, yeah, like we're really fidgety people. Like, oh, I like this one though. Which one is this one? Um, like this is nice. This Hold is on. the. We have to do a, a stress ball. Right. Read real quick. <laughs> Stand by. Well, the one that I had before was medium, and this one's much more pleasant for me. I, mean, okay. I have the hard one then. That's what she said. No, that one's yeah. Um. Anyway, sorry. So the I hard one's purple. We watched the uh like part of our video and realized within the first like thirty seconds that we were really fidgety people. Yeah, dude. So are. I ordered stress balls for us to kind of help with that energy. I don't know how we're doing. Um, <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty well because I've, I've already noticed I've scratched a little bit. <laughs> well, I, I know my hands in front of the computer, so you can't really see it. So I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm. We were all just giving over the away place. all of like the fourth wall here. <laughs> Sorry. Who are we? CM Punk? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, are we? Yeah. The Office? <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne likes 101 Dalmatians. Oh, I'm sorry. She loves 101 Dalmatians. Loves. Loves. L O V E. Do you know what I love? What? Aladdin. That's the best one. Or that's false. Of which time period? Because there are multiple. Well, Lion King is the best overall. Okay. Aladdin is the second best overall. Okay. And there, after that, it gets a little debatable. I really like The Little Mermaid. The Ariel's hot. I'm just telling you. And I, uh, what are you talking? What are you were fucking smiling for? What are you giggling about? Good. <laughs> Keep what's talking. What's wrong with Aladdin? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with Aladdin. I mean, what's wrong with Little Mermaid? I don't. Okay. So. I have a literature degree. Oh my god, nobody cares. I'm just saying. So we could do the, <laughs> the literary criticism approach to this, and I'm not sure like which, like, is it the feminist the approach or whatever? The Little Mermaid's not a book. There's nothing in the literature about. It's a movie. It's a book. No, the, I'm talking about the movie, not the book. I'm but talking also, about the movie. if whatever, what? Okay. okay, your favorite fucking like female Disney princess movie is the one where she can't talk. Yeah, man. And she's underage. Well, to be fair, I was underage when I watched it for the first time. I guess like they're all <laughs> so, technically kind of underage, yeah. except for Elsa. Let's, um, let's not, I mean, let's not go there because that gets creepy because I, you know, we, we, we were all kids. We'll keep it. That. We'll keep it. G. fine. The one where she can't talk. That's your favorite fucking Disney yeah, nice. princess. That's, real nice. that's weird. But Ursula's fucking cool. No, though. you like Tangled. Tangled. Yeah, but I was an adult when that came out, so I don't count it as like a class. I liked. I love Tangled. I like Tangled. Yeah. I watched Tangled by myself in my college house on a Sunday morning. Yeah, I'm same. not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> yeah, like I watched Tangled because at the time my 23 year old brother watched oh, it, and we, I got a flight home and was like, "We bring up underage girls in the shit show true crime podcast." <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> We're going to be there next topic one of these days. <laughs> one of my friends is convinced that one of the two of us is a murderer. We're just not sure which one. <laughs> you said that, Anna? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric's brother, Brian, he he introduced me one time to some of his buddies. He's like, this is Ben. This is He's probably a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I like Dexter. That's where it ends, dude. <laughs> yeah, I like Dexter, but I also like all kinds of other murder things. Yeah. Um, like, actually, like, went on a rant the other day about how if I was ever going to be caught dead in a Christmas sweater, it would be a Fargo Christmas sweater <laughs> because that's about murder, and it's funny. <laughs> Joe likes Fantasia. I never saw Fantasia. Oh. I had, I had the VHS tape when I was a kid, but I never got into Mickey Mouse, really. Joe, okay, how old is Joe? What do we know about Joe? I know he's a part of the Working Fans Wrestling Podcast on Wednesday nights. I bet Joe's older. I'm really not sure. Probably. I know that was a little bit older before. So. All right. Oh, look at that. Votes on me. 
<laughs> Suck it. <laughs> I know. I'm here's the thing. Like, I'm the more likable one of the two. I'm his best accessory. I'm very charming. <laughs> I'm the one you need to be fucking watching out for. I am all kinds of crazy. <laughs> so Joe's 38. Oh, okay. So not that much older than me, but okay. I could see where the nostalgia factor would play. This guy probably also really likes Fraggle Rock. Am I right? Because like Joe, Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. Do you like is it? Is where it's fucking at. Is that where they make bills and stuff? Fraggle Rock? Yeah. No. I'm just a bill. <laughs> on Capitol Hill. Something like that. Schoolhouse Rock? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> Fraggle Rock is the one that it's like, uh, dun, 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 dun. worries for another day. Clap the fears away. Down the Fraggle Rock. Something. I don't know. But know. my favorite part is claps. I know Rugrats. Something, something, Fraggle Rock. Something, something. You know Rugrats? Yeah, I know the Rugrats too. But I don't know. I feel like. I don't know. Joe knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Sarah from the shit show loves to cover wives mustering their husbands. What does <laughs> a literature degree? What does mustering mean? It's above my knowledge level. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she just she brought it back really quick. <laughs> oh, murdering! Oh, I take bong risky. Oh, I did music. Uh, wait, what did he say? I got. Wait, go back to him. I was in Fraggle, Fraggle Rock when I was younger. See, there you go. He, gets, right? he takes bong rips and gets lost in the music. Yeah. Fraggle Rock. Dun, dun. Yeah, he yeah. gets it. Right? I know what Fraggle Rock is, but I never got and it. Fantasia. Into. That's what he said. He takes yeah. bong rips and gets lost in Fantasia. Oh, I gotcha. But see, people that do that also enjoy doing the same thing to Fraggle Rock. Anyway. What's so what what's the bill thing called? I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill. Schoolhouse rock. Guess when I watched that? Eighth fucking grade. That's when I watched that in my history class or government class, whatever the fuck. Are you serious? I watched that in like the second grade. Nope. I also watched Dora the Explorer in Wild Junior High School. Really advanced though. (laughs) (laughs) I have a literature degree. Whatever, criminal justice, and you said the only reason that you stuck it out is because the homework load was bullshit listen totally light like non-existent I, homework load i i did door the explorer my homework load led to a fucking mental breakdown i did door the explorer in junior in high school so mm. i don't want to hear it mm-hmm. <laughs> so sarah likes to murder cover wives who murder husbands <laughs> oh okay cool i ain't scared listen i can't get murdered she's tried all right <laughs> um there's a there's like a height to width ratio i don't know we're, i gotta figure it out <laughs> talking about it on camera though makes me uncomfortable <laughs> but i have i have mimi's to protect me and back in the apartment days we would play wrestle before we had the dog and other cat would just be me you and Moo, and we would play wrestle and and she would get in between us she would Remember yeah that? she would she didn't like rough housing she we call her the apartment police yep. so <laughs> Moo will protect me from your mustering ass <laughs> <laughs> mustering ass <laughs> You're, you're gonna get mustard later. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, boy. Yeah. So what else are you doing when you're when you're home? Um, besides clicker training the dog. You did do that, like, and it's working very well. And we should point to we we brought up like the whole COVID thing. You're working from home has nothing to do with COVID. You no, I hired after, into this. Yeah, yeah. had uh, happened after COVID. So. Yeah. So I guess like the reason that my life is different post COVID though is because um, I hired into the position as a work from home position. It would have been an office. Oh, that, that's a good point. It was a work from office until COVID. And, and then they figured out how to work from home and just like all of the my last work from home job was a commute too aspect to it right like you did it too yeah you were supposed to be commuting like what what did they say 40 percent. it was office hours but your office was your house but then you had field work which like interviews and stuff outside the work and they always said it was like 70 30 yeah but like in reality it was like 50 50 yeah so this is 100 percent at home 100 percent no contact with other people unless you are skyping and even then it's like if you need something or you know whatever so it's very and i one thing i've learned is People fucking suck. And I am so happy not to be around Uh, anybody at all. I get to be in control of all of my stimuli all day long. It's amazing. I love it. I fucking love it. Never been happier. But I do weird things like washi tape the door. Like I don't understand. (laughs) So you you fellows and ladies watching. We got multiple podcasters here. And podcasters tend to be kind of weird people. Yeah. We got other people watching who aren't podcasters. 
have you ever taken little fucking strands of tape and spent hours <laughs> placing them on a door in a design that makes no sense in a place you rent? So you have to pull it up. I'm probably going to move away in a year anyway. Like <laughs> It decorates the door so that you can like the way it looks without damaging the door. So it's for renters. <laughs> Just fair. so you It know. is made for renters, it's I guess. It's for renters like me. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm a nester. I need to feel like this is mine. <sighs> you or something. I am, and I nest oh, a I, lot. I cut you off. What were you going to talk shit about? Little, before we wrap up, what were you going to talk shit about the little mermaid about? I, I did already. Like, oh, oh she doesn't talk. She doesn't talk. Yeah. She has to find a man to find her voice. They all do that shit. Bro. I know. So what do you like them? I don't. Have you noticed? Like, I watch, like, Sword in the Stone and 101 Dalmatians. And oh, that's fair. What about... C? I don't know. Tangled. <laughs> Tangled is pretty awesome. I like Tangled. I yeah. like the here's your horse, here's your pan. Here's horse, here's pan, here's frog. Yeah, here's frog. <laughs> yeah. Here's pan, here's, 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 here's frog. Yeah, here's pan, here's frog. That's, that's, that's good shit. Yeah. But all right, I think that's a good locked in episode of marital nonsense right here at the buzz. Be sure. That's so weird to hear it called that now. I know, it was a little different. Uh, we do have social media now. You can find us at marital nonsense on the Twitter. And you can, on the Twitter, is it called Twitter or the Twitter? What do you think it's called? Twitter. It's called Twitter. Okay. <laughs> I just, I was making sure because I've like heard somebody like on, in the background of one of the TV shows I listened to said the Twitter. And I was like, it's, I think that's a joke. But then I've heard you do it. And I was like, fuck, maybe it's not a it's joke. It's an old person joke. And we're all old now. So. I've been off of social media for 10 years. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I was off social media shit. before social media was around. I don't know. Again. <laughs> you, about you it. nerd. <laughs> but all right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the show. Follow us on social media. Follow us at the buzz and uh, be sure to uh, go, go to manscape.com. Type in promo code MN 2020, get 20% off and free shipping. Holidays are coming. Get your men, get your women and get all the grooming done. That's all I got. <laughs> so hope you all enjoyed it. And do you have any, any final words for the episode, whatever number this is, of marital nonsense? No. Um, but if you do, I guess yes. If you could send us your votes on if we should change the name of the show to pre-divorce. <laughs> it's a working title, I pre -divorced think. Pre-divorced nonsense. What do you think? Pre-divorced. Just pre-divorced. Just, just pre-divorced. <laughs> pre-divorced. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to end it on that. I hope you all enjoy this episode of pre-divorced.